Boots, you're going to fall in the toilet. Bro, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Hey guys, welcome back to the MG channel. Food video for you. In this video, I am making scalloped potatoes as you can see by the title. So, I just want to jump into this video. As you can see, I am washing my potatoes. I think these are russet potatoes, and so I pretty much just wash and peel them. And I have a bowl of water to put them in so they don't brown. And here I'm gonna start cutting the potatoes pretty thin. Um, you don't want to cut them too thin and you don't wanna cut them too thick. So I just had to really take my time and slice them fairly evenly. This is actually how they came out. I don't know the thickness, but that's how they look like. I guess like chips or something, but I'm pretty sure chips are actually much thinner than that. So I pretty much just cut all of them and I just keep them in the water until I'm ready to actually start building the scallop potatoes. Now I won't say that this is the most healthiest dish but I just think it's pretty yummy. So I take three teaspoons of butter into a pan and I take half of an onion, white onion, and I pretty much just saute that until the onions are a little bit soft. And then I also add garlic to it as well. As you can see, I was finishing that jar. Scalloped potatoes consist of layers of a thin sliced potatoes and then on top a cream sauce and then so on and so forth like a lasagna so right here I'm doing a cream sauce after I had the onions and the garlic cooked I put regular flour you can use any flour you want and I just whisk that up most recipes call for heavy cream but I don't have heavy cream nor do I ever buy it so I just used whole milk I think that works just fine but if you want to use heavy cream then go for it but I pretty much just add the flour first and then I add the milk and the more that you mix it and the more that it kind of cooks, you put it on a lower heat, it actually starts to thicken up. And after I whisked away all of the clumps of flour, I start to season it. I did use veggie bouillon, but you can also use chicken or beef or whatever other seasoning you like. I used oregano, cayenne pepper, onion powder, even though I did put onions in there, but I like to add that anyways. I also added basil, sage, and cumin to this recipe as well. And of course, with the sea moss, I added that to there. Shameless plug, I'm gonna put my CMOS video on how I make it in the cards for you guys. So check that out after you watch this video. You can put it in anything. As you can see, it just melts right in. Last thing I do is add some cheese. I add some mild cheddar cheese to it. And I also added mozzarella cheese as well. This definitely makes it much thicker. So if you need to add more or less flour or more or less heavy cream or milk, you can, but I would probably try to do that after you add the cheese. As you can see, the more that I mix the mozzarella in, it really turned into like a cheesy, gooey type of cream sauce, which is definitely what you need. And the cream sauce definitely thickens even more when it cools. So here we're just going to build the scallop potatoes, I have this small pan because it's just Drago and I. If you want to make for more people, then put it in a larger pan. But I grease the pan so nothing sticks, and I just put the layer just like that at the bottom, and I just start with cheese. I 
used the other half of the onions to put in there just for like extra texture and then after I put the onions then I put the cream sauce if you want to put some more layers of cheese in between each layer too you can or if not whichever you choose but I put cheese on each layer as well so I put a layer of the thinly cut potatoes onions cream sauce then some cheese and then so on and so forth So I ended up putting this in the oven, a 400 degree oven, actually I had it at 350 but after like an hour or so I got impatient so I put it at 400. So I would just say 400 degree oven or 350 whichever you choose and it honestly took about like an hour and a half to two hours. It took pretty long. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys liked it. I will show you in another video what I ended up pairing these scalloped potatoes with. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the next video.